Hi guys, this is my grocery haul for this week. It's for two people and I shopped at Ocado. We'll start off with the fruit. So we've been enjoying for desserts, um, pineapple and whipped cream. I got another pineapple, these are only 99p, which is quite a good price. And then I got two packets of bananas, so one for the freezer, which I will break up into small pieces and then I have those in frozen smoothies with peanut butter and milk, they're really tasty. I've got apples as well. Normally Trevor eats all the apples, but recently I've been having apples sliced up and dipped in peanut butter, which I've been really enjoying. Then I got these golden tomatoes. They are just for lunches and in salads in the week. And I want to have a go at making some rosties for breakfast and I'm going to do um, potato and parsnip rosties, so that's what they're for. Spinach, we eat a lot of that, but I've also got a recipe that is to go with eggs and Greek yogurt, which is one of the recipes from that big pile of magazine cuttings that I found in the drawer. So Maris Piper potatoes, they're quite a good um, potato for mash and things. I'm not sure how they're going to do grated, but I'm going to give them a go. And then this passata was on, it was three for three pounds, so it's also got onion and garlic in. I'm going to do another big batch of spaghetti, uh, bolognese sauce, because we're actually running out of that in the freezer. We went through all of that. And then I got this um, burrata. This is actually a much smaller tub than I thought it was going to be. There we go, that's in focus there. It's really little, so it's a soft cheese. I'm going to have that on like an anti-pasty plate looks good but just just very small it's in a cute little bucket i hope i can find a use for that afterwards i got sour cream because we're going to be having nachos 12 eggs um i've got some of that chicken in the freezer that you serve with lentils rice and noodles and these are the lentils that i'm going to put with it Got some strong white because we have got back to making bread, so I'll be making, well Trevor will be making more bread with that. I got some more of these kefir. I actually think the green ones are probably better because they have just got the milk and the cultures in them. Whereas the cherry ones, which taste much nicer, have got um, cherry and other flavourings in them. So probably should just go for the plain ones, I guess. <laughs> I got two of the cherry and three of the other one. I got whole milk there. I forgot to show these last week but I also have started putting in with the shopping um, a big pack of nappies. We started out using washable ones but they were a bit leaky and I couldn't really get on with them. So as kind of a compromise we went for these Eco by Natty ones which are biodegradable so even though they're a disposable one they they will break down much more quickly than a regular nappy was and I'm quite happy with those, they're good. But they are £10 a pack which is pretty expensive. I was buying them from Boots because you could get the points but I found that she goes up the sizes so quickly bulk buying them wasn't really a great idea because we were getting to the end and having ones that didn't fit. But then what else have we got? I've got nachos, that's for um, tortilla chips to make nachos with and also this salsa which is to make the nachos to go on the nachos we've got a chicken and a barbecue sauce in the freezer so that will go on that today we are going out we're actually going for a picnic in the quarry there's a regatta on so i bought these beers this one is beaver town neck oil and i thought that was an interesting name i'm pretty sure trevor's had that before and liked it and i also bought this one clogwin gold which is not it's brewed not that far from here. I actually got three of each of these because we're meeting some people there. So it was six beers to take with us. Then I got some more of this tea. I mentioned before that I really like it. It doesn't taste like apple pie and custard. It doesn't make you sleepy, but it has got a really nice flavour. It's uh, apple and vanilla with chamomile and passion flowers. I like that a lot. I've been having, trying to have like a cup of tea in the afternoon instead of a bar of chocolate and I've been enjoying it. Then we've got Greek yogurt, so this is for the re egg recipe, it's um, spinach and eggs with Greek yogurt basically. And the cream, that's to go with the pineapple. More yeast for making bread. And cheese. We actually go through quite a bit of cheddar. We often have macaroni cheese for lunches, so that's for that, or we just have it 
grated in things. Last week I made a quiche as well, which had cheddar in, broccoli and cheddar quiche, which was really good. So I've also got some mozzarella, that's to go on the big nacho dish. And these meats are for making the big batch of bolognese, so we'll eat it one night and do four or five bags also to go in the freezer. These were on three for ten pounds, so we got two of the minced beef and then one of the pork. And that's quite a good combination for uh, bolognese meat sauce, I find. I also got this pork fillet, which is for dinner one of the evenings. Again, the weight is heavier than it was advertised, so it's four ninety four. But you can chop this, well for us I'll chop it into three and it will serve us for three meals and freeze the rest so it will go a long way. But it is annoying when it's not really, they give you a weight that it's going to be between so you know roughly what the price is going to be and that is much heavier than it should have been. And then I got prawns, these are the raw ones, this is to make a paella with. And I got bacon, I was thinking I might make another breakfast quiche and do it with bacon this time but... We've still going on the quiche from last week and I'm not sure, we might um, might just have these in sandwiches or something. I think I've still got brie left from last week as well and I do like bacon and brie sandwiches a lot. And then I got these, these three were on three for five pounds, so better than what it actually says on there for the chorizo. That is going to go with the prawns and makes a really nice rice dish. And then this one is to go on like a big anti pasty platter which I'm going to put with that burrata cheese and because it was three for five pounds I just put the stuffed cherry peppers in there as well because um, they were basically free because the other things are kind of expensive on that three for, three for five. Oh, got everything, a landslide there. So that is everything that I bought this week. If you do like grocery hauls I've got a massive grocery haul playlist and also a very big what I ate one which shows you what I cooked with all of this stuff. So do have a look at that and do subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.